Maiden, you hear the nights and light of midnight cheer. I dust still, unsettled. I feel the plucking of our petals. I'm drawing circles, don't you know? What's up lads, it's Tom and let's see heaven back in the house and this is the Real Madrid career mode show and the first game is against Villarreal, this is the second leg of the Spanish Copa del Rey, the King's Cup um, uh, quarter final or last 16 tie, I'm not sure and we lost the first leg at home in the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium 1-0 and uh, so we have to win by two clear goals in this second leg so we feel the strongest possible starting lineup with Hulk, Diamaria, Kaka, Duombia, Cristiano Ronaldo so uh, very very good players and here's Chubby Alonso almost scores a great opening goal and I was going all out attack in the first uh, few games by the way I uh, can't just can't uh, get enough of the, of the intro uh, I always get pumped up for these uh, episodes when I w watch it and uh, we had a really, really hard time recently because uh, for some reason the, the AI, on, even on world class, uh, plays like a, a beast. Uh, you just can't get uh, the ball off him and the goalkeepers were just absolutely amazing. And th this is another close miss uh, by Hawk, so we are leading 1-0 uh, with a Cristiano Ronaldo goal. But we still need one more goal, so I try uh, my best. Uh, and here Ronaldo gets uh, shot away, it gets blocked, but Duambia is offside, but I decided to include that on the highlights because it was a nice overhead kick. And look at this, Barcelona is uh, already 4 nil up against Santander, as you could see in the top right uh, hand corner, and Duambia can't uh, score, and this is what I'm talking about, about the AI, this is uh, one of the reasons why I think scripting uh, is... Uh, in f included in FIFA 12 because I frantically sw tried to switch uh, to the player closest to Marcos Senna but uh, the uh, game just didn't let me do anything about that so uh, that is the goal that knocks us out of the Spanish Cup and it's a really sad day because I was expecting uh, this team to go on and win the, the whole tournament because it's, uh, this is one of the best teams uh, that I have ever played with uh, two, uh, we can field two uh, evenly strong starting 11s and uh, it's a bitterly disappointing result against Villarreal. So uh, uh, about that free kick I just couldn't do anything and uh, I missed so many chances in that game. It was really really disappointing because I felt that I could have uh, scored three or four goals on another day. But still uh, we are leading uh, the league by four points. We only lost one game and got one draw and 10 uh, wins and we have a goal, uh, a goal difference of something like 25 or something, uh, I'm not sure. So uh, this team scores a lot of goals in the league as expected and here uh, Cherchi, one of the uh, new signing, passes to Duombia and I, uh, sorry Ronaldo and I uh, decided to give uh, Benzema a goal. Get your tits out, uh, the sweatbands are too, truly uh, well and truly on. but. Uh, I do everything uh, in my power to uh, get the win because uh, these next two games are really vital if you want to win the league title because it's a Valencia away in this game and then the Madrid derby against Atletico Madrid at home in the Santiago Bernabeu stadium and uh, we are already 2-0 up and Valencia came back strongly uh, and uh, in this, uh, at this moment in time, I was pretty comfortable with this uh, uh, win. And here I give the ball to Cherchi and let's see if he can score. But no, it gets blocked. And I make three substitutions because some of my players uh, were really getting tired. And this is the 78th minute. And this, this is what I'm talking about. I just couldn't do anything about that passing move. Heads off to the uh, AI. That was a really, really good passing move. And at this point, I feared the worst because... Uh, when uh, you are two or three goals up, uh, the AI does everything in their power to uh, get back in the game and sometimes it's, uh, you just feel that it's, it's absolutely inevitable. And uh, that's, this was the, exactly like this in this game. Uh, so from 2-0 two, two, two up, we 
managed to draw uh, uh, the game 2-2 and uh, it's uh, two, two crucial dropped points because uh, I think Barcelona and uh, Malaga also win their games uh, so we are only two points ahead now ahead of Malaga and uh, the top five teams uh, are really close uh, together and uh, that's why the next game was even even more uh, important against uh, Atletico Madrid as you can see I play on world class difficulty with six minute halves and uh, I got very, I when I saw the starting lineups I got very lucky because Atletico Madrid had uh, three starting 11 players injured and one uh, suspended with a red card so that's four uh, first team uh, players out from the starting lineup and uh, that should mean that we, we may be would, would have uh, an easier game but uh, you never know in this game uh, in the first half there were no chances absolutely nothing I could show you no highlights to, do, to make so in the, in the second half I, we decide to step up our game and do on behalf after a nice fake shot bamboozling the defender he scores our first goal and uh, I love that celebration when he <laughs> points to the crowd I can't hear you louder and uh, after uh, going 1-0 up, I was really confident that uh, we can get more goals and Duombia uses his devastating pace and he passes to Ronaldo, it gets a bit of the deflection but still Ronaldo starts it home and I go absolutely crazy because at this point I, I thought surely we can't uh, blow a two-goal lead in, the, in two games in a row but uh, uh, maybe I'm wrong because Atletico Madrid thinks otherwise. Renato Augusto with a coker of a goal, Casillas, who is the, one of the best goalkeepers in the game, can't do anything about that. And uh, we make three substitutions at once uh, because uh, uh, my, one of, some of my players uh, get really tired. And look at this, Higuain gets away. And uh, I decide to give Benzema a goal because uh, Duombia has something like 12 goals in the league and Benzema is trailing way, way behind him. So I, I wanted to, to, to give uh, him a uh, more goals and Ronaldo is away and he must score yes he does Ronaldo just doesn't miss those chances one on one with the goalkeeper and uh, he is my top scorer in the league of course because he is the second best player in the game behind Messi and look at that save by Casillas that was crucial and then we we that this is the end of this game and we win 4-1 and that was a great great game uh, I really enjoyed uh, it uh, Ronaldo with two goals as you can see and we pretty much dominated uh, Atletico Madrid and uh, I was sad to see that Real Betis lost 3-0 in, in the latest times but they they still sit comfortably in mid-table and as you could see Sergio Ramos uh, isn't happy with uh, me uh, sometimes putting him on the bench but we must rotate this squad because there are a lot of games to be played and uh, I want to give everyone a chance to see uh, how uh, everyone does and uh, I will sell uh, some of the players that don't perform uh, well enough in the January transfer window and maybe, and maybe get new ones in uh, so Sergio Ramos basically said that he wants to to leave the club, uh, let's, we will uh, see about that because uh, he's one of my best players so I won't uh, let him leave uh, on the cheap, but so we will see and uh, this is against uh, Sporting uh, Gijon I think uh, away and uh, I thought that uh, this is uh, uh, three points easy uh, but I was so wrong because uh, Sporting Gijon uh, get ahead we get an equalizer and then here uh, with Ozil after a nice fake shot we get into the lead and uh, at this point I thought uh, we surely must win this game because we have much much better players but here uh, I make an absolutely dreadful defensive mistake and I don't know what happened to my defending guys but uh, in these uh, past uh, games I, I was uh, conceding goals left, right and center and here Sergio Ramos uh, gets a great chance to score but his long shots are the, aren't the best as you can see uh, and here Cherchi uh, after a nice uh, shot he, uh, the defender blocks his shot and uh, he can't score from two yards out and here in the 79th minute after me missing uh, some really good chances the AI decides to tramp it across goal and uh, I can't complain because my defending was absolutely dreadful at that uh, moment and uh, we are trailing Sporting Vision 3-2 and I was facing my second defeat uh, in this uh, 
mm, league season, but Ronaldo thinks otherwise and you can rely on him in the most difficult of times because after a nice straight shot he scores the, equal, the crucial, crucial equalizer. So it's a draw, but still uh, it's a very disappointing result for, in my uh, opinion uh, because uh, we, we really should beat teams like Sporting Gijon away. So it's a 3-3 free -free draw and as you could see all of the teams behind me, Malaga, Villarreal, Barcelona, all won their games and this is the last game in this episode guys and this is an epic one, the El Clasico against Barcelona. This game might decide where the league title ends up and uh, I decided to include as many highlights as possible to show you guys this, uh, this game because it was one epic game. Uh, I can tell you that. So uh, I hope uh, you give this uh, video a like if you enjoy these uh, episodes. I work very hard uh, to produce uh, best quality videos for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. And uh, here uh, it, it, we get off to a very, very good start. Look at this passing move. Right, straight right from the keeper. Half with a nice skill. And then he links up with, uh, uh, I don't know, Sergio Ramos or... Uh, Maicon and then Duombia after a nice Ronaldo chop, he scores a great, great goal past Valdez. So we are 1 0 up against Barcelona in the third minute. And I thought, uh, yes, we, we must win this game uh, by a good margin because I, wa I, was, I felt uh, really, really good. I really up for it. And uh, Kaka with a great shot and the goalkeeper saves, but Barcelona came back strong and Iniesta with a nice shot. Uh, Casillas saves, but. Uh, Barcelona is uh, uh, the best team in this game and in, uh, in uh, uh, real life they were uh, just absolutely amazing in the past three seasons and look at this, how unlucky can you get, <laughs> this is one of the uh, most uh, unluckiest shot I, I have uh, uh, encountered and then almost an all go by Pepe uh, after uh, Messi or Iniesta, I'm not sure, uh, skilling the defense and hitting the post. And here I, I try to uh, get a certain goal because Ronaldo was uh, facing the goalkeeper. It was too close for the for me to have a shot, so I decided to uh, have a cross. And then uh, for s some reason, Duombia missed the, uh, his header and then uh, another another great uh, passing move and uh, Duombia gets a great shot away and uh, Valdez saves again and again. This uh, I think Valdez was man of the match in this game because they, he had so many so many uh, chances that they saved and here Ronaldo hits the post again and at this moment in time I was I was really nervous because I felt maybe this is just not my day I, I was still leading Barcelona 1-0 but he, we hit the post uh, twice and uh, Vardas made three world-class saves to deny us going 2-0 up or 3-0 up and maybe I, I should have been leading 2-0 uh, or 3-0 at this point and of course that is football, that's what usually happens when you miss your chances then the opposition scores and David Villa equalizes and after, after that in the 80, 82nd minute I make a, a, a huge error, Thiago Silva my best defender passes straight to the Barcelona keeper and what the freaking hell, man, what is this? EA, surely, look at that. Pepe ha clearly has the ball and then he decides to just uh, put his hand <laughs> to the ball and punch the ball into the net. I have to show you guys this. Look at this. He just decides to punch the ball into the net. Yes, go on Barcelona, have a win. It doesn't matter, maybe we just lost the league because of this game, but Pepe is, not, is, is okay with that. Maybe he uh, received a nice uh, amount of money from the Barcelona players to do this, because <laughs> that was one of the most outrageous own goals I have ever seen on FIFA. Seriously, to punch the ball <laughs> into the net with your hand. And then, of course, Barcelona scored another goal, after my uh, 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 defender is uh, one uh, uh, head uh, taller than uh, Sanchez and Sanchez still out jumped him so we lose this game 3-1 uh, <laughs> and we are now third in the table after Villarreal and Barcelona winning their games uh, so it's a really really uphill task from now on I uh, hope you enjoyed this 
uh, episode. Uh, this just makes the uh, upcoming uh, second half of the season much more interesting because we we need to be more consistent and win more games. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.